What is up YouTube, Sam Board here, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title of the video, it is my final day in Dubai. I am leaving tomorrow, I've got a flight booked early in the morning. So I thought I'd pick up the camera today, take you guys through my last day, run over my experiences of the place, my opinions on Dubai, the reasons I'm leaving, and my plans moving forward. So get comfortable and enjoy this video. guys so this is the apartment for tonight so I've gone and booked an apartment in Business Bay for my last night in Dubai so I've moved pretty much all over the joint since I've been here I think I've been here just over three months now and I stayed in this will be my eighth place so anyone out there who's been Dubai short term I've, I've met so many people who's in the same position where you just bounce about between Airbnbs and just try and fill up the slots so it can be a bit stressful I've had a studio in JVC for the last month so I was pretty settled there but I thought I'd book this place tonight it's nice and close to the airport nice views and a bit of a change I've not actually spent much time in business space so this is a quick little apartment tour it's a bit messy because I've not actually unpacked anything I've been here like two minutes so far and this is our balcony view 18th floor, we got a nice view here. You can see obviously the lake and that, and you've got the Burj Khalifa over there, which for anyone who's unaware is the tallest building in the world, so that's pretty cool. It's all the other buildings not look tall at all, but they are all very tall as well. But the reason I'm actually leaving Dubai is mostly because I just want to be with my partner to be honest. So I do bounce around quite a bit. You know, over the past couple of years since being with Amy, I spent a lot of time in Australia, America, Dubai now, so we do spend a lot of time apart and I've got a big year planned ahead of me now. So I know from, well, the plan right now is from May to maybe end of July-ish in Marbella and then heading from there maybe to Southeast Asia until September before I hit Australia for six, seven months and coming back to Dubai. So I was gonna stay here another month and a half and then go back to the UK for like four weeks and see Amy then. But then I just thought I'd only see her for four weeks. So I'm gonna head back, see her for like two and a half months. So anyone in the UK in Western Superman, hit me up and we're, uh, we'll do something there. But I'm gonna be there for the next two and a half months, do a bit of gym hopping and then yeah, we'll be off to Marbella and that for the summer. But the plan right now for the last day, we're gonna go get some Thai food in JBR. So we've got James here with me now behind the camera. So he'll be with me, Keanu will be with me, and then we're gonna meet a load of people after Thai food for Shisha. Somewhere called Buddha Bar. Uh, it's gonna be like a really nice place on a nice high floor, so that'll be perfect for my last night. But I'm gonna go get all ready now, and then I'll see you guys in JBR. Chicken as well, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fucking good, man. They look creamy. They look better than mum. Thank you. Chicken lard? Yes, chicken lard over here, please. I think you're right about that, son. Yeah, yeah, they said it's small. This is what me and Lewis have to share with cutting. Shredder. Chicken lard. No, those curries are banging. Look much better than mum's Thai green curries. Sorry if you're watching mum. And the rice. Yeah, as well. There's a lunch and curry. And then we're still waiting on, um, we've also got, oh yeah, spring roll. Oh, Thai here as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that looks good. You've got some in it. Yeah, put that in the middle there. Spring roll. Yeah. Spring roll. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, here we go guys. Um, so guys, we have gone for Thai tonight, so I usually go to sushi in Dubai. We've gone to sushi so many times now, so I thought I'd mix it up for my last night. Myself and Lewis used to actually work in a Thai restaurant together when we were like 16 years old. I'm not great with the menu, Lewis is pretty good, but we've gone for a Pad Thai, a Masaman curry, so apparently it's quite a coconut-y curry with potatoes and stuff like that, and then a chicken, what is it this? Lamped. Lamped. <laughs> Lamped. So, 
We're gonna dig into this. It's absolutely incredible. And then we're going to shisha afterwards. So. Yeah, crack it Right, so that is dinner polished off for the night. So honestly, I forgot how much I like Thai food. I think I've eaten sushi here two to three times a week since I've been here. So that was really, really nice to mix it up. And we finished that off with some Krispy Kremes. But I'm just gonna use this time to quickly run through my favorite things and worst favorite things about du about Dubai. So anyone who's interested in coming here or moving here so you can get a bit of an insight from myself. I've lived here for three months now. Really feel settled into the place and it does feel like home. So I've got my favorite spots, my worst favorite spots and my favorite things really. So firstly is obviously gonna be the gym. So we've been training out at some absolutely world-class gyms out here. We've got B1 and Train Beach Club are my two favorite. And they're actually looking to open up Oxygen Gym out here as well. So anyone who's really, really into the bodybuilding scene will know exactly what Oxygen is and that should be kind of taken over when it comes here as well so i'm really excited to come back and see that in terms of the networking opportunities out here that's gonna be my second favorite thing like i've met so so many incredible people here and it just seems like the central hub of the world so anyone who's got a bit of a following or an online income or anything like that is here and the main thing for me is just that i think 80 percent of the population in dubai are actually expats so 80 percent of the people here aren't actually from dubai they've moved here so they've got that same kind of attitude that their attitude to actually get up, leave home and look for something better. So everyone's hustling, everyone's motivated and it's just a really, really good atmosphere to be in. So I've absolutely loved that as well. In terms of my least favorite thing, it can also be my favorite at times, but it's very, very fast paced here and everything's on the highway. So if you look at my screen time on my phone, my average daily on like the map app, so we use Waze here, like Google Maps, is like an hour and a half to three hours literally driving. So that's the amount of time I spend in my, in my car. So you do spend a lot of time driving about. Everything's 20 minutes away. But once you've gone to the gym once, come back, and then gone to JBR, and then come back, it really, really does add up. But we're in JBR tonight. That is dinner done. We are going to finish up with some shisha. We're meeting the gang now just to say goodbye on my final night. So let's go get some shisha. What have you got there, Carl? <laughs> You're on the salad, mate. On the salad. You're too good. You're too good.